Ooh. Okie dokie. So have your water handy. I'm turning my phone off. <laughs> water handy beside you, please. We're going to start standing. And I want you just to bring your feet hip distance apart, okay? You won't really see me until I'm on my mat, on my, my face. You can see my legs, which is the most important bit right now, okay? Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'll bring you back a bit. Okay. Okay, so just want you to soften the knees. So just slightly bend the knees, not too much. So ever so slightly bend the knees. Feet are hip distance apart, okay? From here, I want you to place your both hands on your lower abdominal region, so your pelvic region. And what I want you to do is to take an inhale here. So your bum is kind of sticking away to begin. And on the exhale, I want you to slowly, slowly, so slowly tuck your tailbone under. So coming into imprint. So you're bringing your hips in underneath your rib cage. Your glutes are going to squeeze and activate. As you breathe in, I want you to bring your bum away and arch your lower back, okay? Keep your knees as they are. And then on the exhale, tuck your pelvis, really, really squeeze in the glutes and drive the pubic bone forward. Inhale to, to bring the bum away. So we're releasing the lower back. And then on the exhale, you're imprinting that lower spine as if you were lying on the mat, your lower back would be connected with the mat at this stage. Squeeze in the bum. Inhale to release. Feel the ribs lifting, good. And then exhale to imprint. Well done. Inhale to release. Hands on the lower abdominal. And then exhale to imprint. You should feel the ribs melting downwards and the abs activating. We're gonna go for three more. Breathing in as you stick the bum away, lifting the rib cage, and then exhale to imprint. Squeeze in the glutes. Last two. As you breathe in, I want you to take big breaths into those rib cages laterally, and then exhale. Feel the rib cage melting down, abs getting stronger as you do this. And then one more, inhale. And then exhale. I want you to bring yourselves into imprint. From here, guys, maintaining that imprint position. So you're tucking that pelvis right underneath you. Your glutes are gonna stay active throughout and a gentle bend in the knees. Hands are down by your side. We're gonna inhale as you bring your fingertips to ceiling. Squeeze, stay in that imprint position. Go wide with your arms. I know you can't see my arms, but they're gonna come down now and back around. Inhale, reach your fingertips, palms facing inwards, facing each other, and then oh, big circles with your arms all the way down. Just mobilizing the shoulders. Inhale to reach towards the ceiling, and exhale all the way back down. Good, we're gonna go for four more. Inhale to reach nice and tall, and then exhale, and three. Lifting up out of your chest, lift the rib cage as you reach towards the ceiling, breathing nice and deeply into those ribs, lift, lift, lift. Go wide with the arms, go big and wide, and last one, reaching, and exhaling. On the next, reach towards the ceiling, straighten the knees and come up onto your tippy toes as you reach up, squeezing the glutes to stabilize, and exhale to come back down onto your feet nice and flat. Inhale and reaching up, onto your tippy toes please. Exhale, coming all the way back down. Keeping that activation in the glutes. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, coming down. Last two, inhale. Nice and long with the arms. Exhale, coming down. And one more, inhale. Sorry, I've got one more to come through. And exhale, coming down onto your feet. Sorry about this. Sinead, in. Sinead, in. Yes, okay, cool. Okay, so from there, guys, you're gonna bring your right leg in front and left leg behind, okay? And from here, I want you to just slightly put the weight forward on that front leg, okay? Taking a bit of pressure off the foot of the back leg. I want you to reach the arms in front. You're gonna inhale as you distribute your weight even more into that front leg, reaching those arms out of their shoulder sockets, drawing your shoulder blades away. And as you exhale, coming back to center with your body and squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, keeping the arms straight, reaching forward, as if you're passing a box to somebody. And then exhale, coming back. Hands are shoulder distance apart. Inhale, to reach forward. Keeping that foot firmly on the ground, putting the weight into the front of the foot as you reach forward. And then coming back onto the heel of the front leg as you come back. And we're going for another two. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, coming back. And last one, inhale, to reach forward and exhale to come back. Slowly coming to standing with both feet. Shake out that front leg and bring the other leg in front. Swap around please. And dropping that back knee down, okay? Reaching those arms nice and long. We're gonna inhale again, reaching forward, out of the shoulders, 
Drawing those shoulder blades away. Exhale as you come back, squeeze the shoulders together. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale. Coming back, good. Nice and tall, the length of the neck, crown of the head, pulling up towards the ceiling. Try not to look down at your lovely legs. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. It's quite a difficult thing to do to squeeze your shoulder blades with straight arms. Takes a bit of thinking. Last two. We're really drawing those arms forward and away from each other. Last one. Leaning forward and coming all the way back. Good stuff. From there, guys, just coming back into the original leg, the first one that we did. That was my right one. And from there, guys, I want you to bring your hands behind your head, supporting the back of your neck. Lengthen the neck, so pulling on the base of the head. Lengthen that, that neck a little bit longer. Open it up. Elbows are back. Staying down in the lunge position, we're going to take an inhale to stay. And on the exhale, rotate towards the leg that's in front and looking over towards your right side. Keep the hips forward. Inhale, back to center. Exhale to rotate. Inhale to center. Exhale to rotate. Good, two more. Inhale and exhale. You should start to feel the legs burning a little bit. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, back to center. Bring your hands down into the inner part of that front leg, okay? Very good. Make sure you've got space. Again, that same lunge position. Keep the leg up and then rest it down. Sorry, let rest the back leg down. Rest both hands down. You're gonna inhale as you reach your outer arm towards the ceiling. And then exhale, place that hand back down. Follow that hand with your eyes. Inhale as you reach up towards the ceiling. Takes a bit of stability here. Exhale, coming back down. So really focusing on that hand, that'll help you stabilize. It gives you a point of contact, so just really follow on that hand, slowly and controlled. Breathing in as you reach towards the ceiling. Looking at that hand. And exhale, last two. Inhale as you reach up. Squeeze the glute of the back, back leg. That helps to stabilize a little bit as well. And last one, and really digging the toes down of the front leg to keep you in this position. Very good. Hands either side of your feet, your foot in front. Lift that leg up. And then just lean into that front leg. Nice long line with the back leg. Holding this position. Breathing into it. Bend the back knee. And then bring your heel of the front leg down to the floor and bring your toes towards the ceiling. Sitting back onto that back knee if you can. If your knees are bothering you, make sure you've got something cushioning under your knee. Very good. And then coming back upwards slowly, guys. Staying on that front leg, we've got one more move on this side. You're gonna reach your hands forward. And then when you're ready, lifting that back leg, reaching those fingertips away, nice and long. Hands facing each other. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Pushing those toes away. Little bend in the front knee. Little shaky, shaky, shaky. Breathing, reaching, squeezing the glute. Lengthen that leg, go a little bit higher if you can. Hold and release down. Very good. We're gonna swap over. So bringing that other leg in front. Coming down into the lunge position. Hands behind the head. All right. Weight into that front heel, okay? And toes are connected. We're gonna rotate as you inhale. Rotate with the elbows behind your head. So I don't want you to bring those elbows forward and then coming all the way back to center. Very good. We're gonna rotate as you breathe in and exhale. And rotate, sorry, it's exhale as you rotate. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, slowly rotating. Think with your belly button, so rotating from here rather than your hips, hips stay forward. Back to center. And exhale to rotate. Back to center, don't let the knee come with you. And exhale, elbows back. Think the neck nice and long, trying to push the head forward, last one. And back to center, drop your knee down gently. Bring your hands down to the inner part of the front leg. Extend that back leg back a little bit further. 
So you should be getting a bit of a stretch in the back leg. With the inner hand, keep that one there, release the outer one. We're going to inhale to reach towards the ceiling and coming back down. Inhale, reaching as you open the ribs, open the lungs, inhale into them and exhale as you contract down with the ribs. Good. Inhale and exhale. And remember what I said, squeezing the glute of that back leg, reaching up, coming back down. Two more, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale, coming back down with your hand. Hands either side, gently leaning into that front leg, getting a nice deep stretch, holding, and then slowly coming onto your heel or your front leg and reaching those tippy toes towards the ceiling. Do one more move on this side. And then we're going to hit the mat. Getting a nice stretch along the hamstring here. Make sure your knees ever so slightly gently locked out, not too hard. Once you're feeling it in the hamstring, that's fine. Okay. Slowly coming back up, keeping that same leg in front, please. And as we did before, put the weight into the front leg. Make sure your knee is over your heel or over your ankle. Extending that back leg and reaching forward. Lengthening up, out of the hips up, reaching those fingertips forward, reaching them away from each other, as strong as you can go, gently locking out the knee, pointing those toes, good and strong, reach that leg away, squeeze the glutes, hold it, hold it, slowly come back down. And when you're ready, come to the end of your mat, softly walk the knee, walk, hold up, sorry. Softly bend the knees and place your hand down onto the mat. And when you're ready, walking your hands forward. We're going to come down into a plank position and bend your knees, please. Okay? From here, maintain this plank position. So bring your knees slightly back behind your hips and a 45 degree angle with your thighs to the mat. Okay? We're going to slowly, slowly, slowly keep our elbows in tight. As you lower your chest down to the mat, a little kind of press up, but we're going with an eccentric load coming down. When you're ready, come back up onto your knees. And what I want you to do is bring your knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders. From here, guys, just relax your spine. Don't hold any tension in your back, okay? I want you to push down with the left hand nice and strong. Feel the hand grounded. And we're going to inhale as we release that right arm and reach up nice and long. Okay, try to get it up and long with your shoulders. Bring that arm down. We're going for five reps on this side. Feel your core activation to stabilize you here. It's, main, it's keeping you in this position. It's stopping you from leaning to one side. Go for two more. Keep moving, please. Once you get a little rhythm, nice, slow, controlled, up and down. One more. And lower down. We're going to go with the other arm. So the minute you lift that hand up, you can automatically feel this, the muscles in your stomach activating. We're going to inhale as we reach that hand up nice and long, as high as you can go. May not be very high for some, but that's okay. So long as you're maintaining that nice stance with your hips, that they're not moving outwards, that you're not dropping down with one arm, that everything's staying good and strong like a good sturdy table. Good. Give me one more lift on this side, please. Well done. And staying here for a moment, okay? Relaxing that back. From here, you're gonna tuck your toes, okay? We're gonna just slowly, slowly, like we just did, push into the mat with both hands this time. And when you're ready, slowly lifting those knees off the mat, keeping the lower legs parallel to the floor. Gently bring the knees back down. As you do that, just feel what's happening to your stomach muscles. They're starting to switch off once you've rested down. Before you begin to lift, draw that belly button in, take an inhale, and then lift again on the exhale and feel how active they are. I really want you to become body aware. Inhale, coming down, feel what's going on in your body day to day. And then exhale, coming up. Well done, inhale to lower down gently, mind your knees. And then exhale, draw that belly button in before you lift, protect the back and then lift. Inhale to lower down gently. We're going for three more. And exhale to lift up. Inhale to slowly come down. And exhale. 
One more, make sure your neck is in line with your spine. Last one. And exhale to lift. Again, bring your knees behind your hips, okay? Walk them back, keep your feet on the floor. You can relax them down and bring your hands kind of wide, but make a diamond shape with your index finger and your thumb, okay? So if your two hands are to me, it should be like a diamond. We're gonna go wide with the elbows, okay? We're going for 10 press-ups. Draw that belly button in. Go as low as you can go, it's fine, as long as you're doing something. We're gonna lower down as you inhale. Exhale to come back up for 10. Lower down. Nine. Elbows go wide. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Slowly coming back into shell stretch for a moment. So wide with the legs, coming onto your heels and reaching those fingers away. Nice long arms. Really stretching out the arms and getting a good stretch on your lats. And you're gently rocking side to side. Get a deeper stretch in under the arms. And then coming back onto all fours. When you're ready, we're going to extend one leg, tucking the toes. Make sure you're not going to slip. So there's good grip there. And tucking the other toes and extending back with that other leg. Nice long line of the body, pushing into the floor, really driving those shoulder blades away. So try not to let them sink together. Push the floor away. Strong stance. Belly button drawn to the spine. Ribs are connected. Abs are active. Squeeze in the glutes. Knees are, are straight. No bend in the knees. Keep them gently locked out. Pushing the heels away. Nice long line at the back of the, the Achilles. Get the hamstrings. Good posterior stretch. Holding for five, four, three, to gently place one knee down and the other knee down. Shell stretch again, tuck the toes for this one. And coming back, get a good stretch on the feet, reaching your chest down towards the floor and resting your head down. Lovely. Lying onto your front this time. Okay. Okay, so bring your fingers in line well, sorry, bring them in front of your shoulders, okay? And I want you to rest your, your elbows down, so wherever they fall natural. And if that means bringing your hands wider, closer to your body, whatever that is, further up, wherever your elbows can sit nice and natural without any strain on the body, okay? Feet can be together or a little bit apart, that's so okay. But I want a nice long line with the legs, so draw those knees up off the floor by activating the, the thigh muscles, the quads, okay? We're gonna take an inhale here, I want you to draw that belly button to the spine, squeeze the glutes. And when you're ready, you're gonna slowly, slowly uh, lift your chest off the floor. Try not to push too much weight into the floor with your arms. I really want you to do this on your own. So activating the back muscles, lower down as you breathe in. And as you exhale again, lifting up slowly. Imagine there's a light on your chest and you're shining that light forward. Your head follows the line of your spine, so your neck is an extension of your spine. Inhale. And then exhale, coming up. There's probably about 5% effort going through the arms, very good, that's more of a stabilization going on. Inhale to lower down. And then exhale, lifting up. For the next five, we're gonna lower down as you inhale. On the exhale, you're gonna lift your arms off the floor where they are, and then lift up. No cheating. Inhale to lower. Rest the hands down, rest your head down. Exhale, coming up. Really activating the back muscles and the glutes. Inhale, legs stay down, lower down. Three more. And exhale, squeeze the glutes and lift. Inhale, really feeling the mid back working. The last two. If you're feeling it in your lower back, if there's a little pinching sensation going on, don't come as high, please. Lower down, last one. And lift up. Feel your knee caps caps drop there, lifting up off the floor each time you do this move. And lower down, please. From here, extend the arms nice and long. And go wider with your legs, please. From here, we're gonna take an inhale. And on the exhale, you're gonna lift your legs 
off the floor, nice straight line, and then lift the arms to match. We're gonna hold this position. I want you to look down at your mat, feel, as I said, no compression in the back of your neck. Looking down, find a spot on the mat and hold that position. Feel a little bit of a shakiness going on in the body because your body's really fighting to hold you in this position. It's contracting and holding. <laughs> and we're gonna hold for another five, four, three, two, and one. Tom nearly joined the class there for a moment. <laughs> oh, come into shell stretch, please. Tuck in the toes. And bringing the bum down towards the heels and reaching away from you as long as you can go. Rest your forehead down. So the next thing we're gonna do is swimming, which some of you have been brilliant at because you're great swimmers. And you need a bit of coordination too. So if you ain't got rhythm, get a lick. All right. So again, go a little bit wider with the, the feet. Right hip distance apart or a little bit narrower. And same, same with the hands. So shoulder width apart with the hands, okay? Looking down at your mat, we're gonna take an inhale here. And on the exhale, squeeze the glutes and then lifting the feet and the legs off the floor, lifting the hands, okay? Hands facing down. Start to move the opposite arm, opposite leg. Small little flutters with the arms and the leg as if you're kicking water and you're kind of paddling with your hands, all right? And keep going. We're gonna go for another 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, look at your mat, four, three, two, and one. Rest down, listen to your heartbeat. It always gets the heart rate up, it's a great one. And then coming back into shell stretch. So any of these ones where you're feeding into your lower back, always follow with the shell stretch. So if you want to tuck your toes or keep your feet nice and relaxed, it's up to you. I like tucking my toes, getting a good stretch on the feet, and reaching forward. And from there, coming onto your hands and knees. If anyone's suffering with their wrists at any stage, just roll the mat up, and, or else you can come onto your fists, whatever feels comfortable, okay? Okay, so uh, knees under your hips, and hands under your shoulders. From here, I'm gonna get you to extend that right leg nice and long, and hold this position. Just feel where your hips are in space. Make sure that your right hip isn't going higher if it's your right leg that's lifted. Make sure that your spine, just visualize this happening from the crown of your head all the way down to your tailbone. Is it nice and straight? Pushing into the mat of your arms, both straight. There's no bend in the elbows. One arm isn't getting weaker. Stabilize here. For another five, four, three, two, and release down. And also you have the option to relax your feet or tuck them, it's up to you, okay? So from here we're going with the other leg, extending back nice and long, pointing those toes. The minute you point the toes, automatically you get good tension in the quads. All right, lengthening through the leg. Glutes will activate a lot easier, holding. And again, feel into this side, feel what's happening. Are you dipping down a bit more on the opposite side? We all have one side where that's weaker. So feel into this. Try and correct it as best you can. If that means lowering the leg a little bit, do so. Hold. I'm looking straight down. Breathing. Pushing down into the mat. Draw the shoulder blades away. Feel a little tremor if there is one coming into your leg. I definitely get one on my left side. Because that's my weaker one. Holding and release down. Good stuff. Okay, we're going to introduce arm and leg. So nice neutral spine. So don't be sticking your bum too far away or tucking your pelvis, all right? I don't want a flat back. I want just nice and neutral, a little bit of an arch. From here, take an inhale, put your pressure on your left hand. We're gonna release the right leg. Sorry, put your pressure on your right hand and extend the left arm, please. So we're gonna extend that left arm and right leg, really reaching away from each other, staying in that four pose stance. So your knee is staying right under your hip. You're not leaning forward. Staying strong it's through that standing leg, holding. If you need to put your palm facing downwards to release any pressure in your shoulder, do so, or put it facing inwards. Holding for three, two, one, lower lift, touch the floor and bring it back up for five, four, three, two, one, place them down, gently. 
We'll do one more here. And then we are on to, we have one more exercise on our front two, sorry, and then we're on to our elbows. Okay. So from here, you're going to extend the opposite leg and reach the opposite arm. Holding. And really draw on those, that arm and leg in opposite direction. So really forcing that weight away from each other, really pushing them away. So as long as you can go. The further you go, the more tension that is put into the muscles, the more strength that's going to build. Heart rate goes higher, challenging yourself a bit more. And when you're ready, in three, two, one, we're going to lower and lift the leg and the arm. Basically tip the floor back up for five, four, three, two, and one. Placing it down. Come into shell stretch, please. I'm going to turn this light on. Make much of a difference when you're here. So make sure your hands, when you're ready, come up out of shell stretch. Hands and knees in the same position. You want to soften your back. We're going to do a cat cow stretch. You're going to take an inhale here, and on the exhale, I want you to tuck your pelvis in underneath you. Bring your ribs closer to your pubic bone, so you're narrowing the space of your abdominal region. Push your upper or your mid back towards the ceiling, and relax your head down. Look in between your legs. No tension in the neck. We're going to take an inhale as you bring your bum away. So you're leading with your bum. Stick your bum away, soften your lower back. So you're arching that lower back. Bring your shoulder blades together. So you're softening the upper back. Arms stay straight. And then your head comes up last. For anyone that's new to the class, if you just want to watch one or two, that's fine. We're going to take an inhale here, stay. And then on the exhale, bring the hips underneath you, rounding the pelvic region, making a nice C shape with your stomach. Push into the floor to get a deeper lift on the spine. So pushing that spine towards the ceiling. You're like an angry cat and relax your head down. Again, no tension in the neck, please. We're going to inhale to release your bum away. Start to stick it away a little bit more. Arching your lower back. Softening the mid back. Softening the upper back. And then coming up looking. Get a nice little length into the neck area as you look up. And then we're going to inhale, we're going to breathe on the inhale as you, or move on the inhale as you tuck the pelvis. Breathing, 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 pushing, pushing down to the floor. And then we're going to exhale. We're going to challenge you as we inhale, narrowing that um, area of the abdominal region, okay? Because it's quite hard to breathe in that position. So we're going to inhale again as we narrow that area, narrow that space. Pushing that spine to ceiling and releasing down. We're going to hold this position and stay here. So breathing here. Inhale through the nose and exhale. Not moving, staying in this angry cat position, looking down between your legs, breathing into the nose and exhale. Really using the abs to activate here and we need them to stay like that, to hold you here. And two more inhales and exhale. Squeeze the glutes a little bit, last one, inhale. And as you exhale, bring the bum away, soften your lower back mid back and coming up looking. Shell stretch please. Okay, you'll need that now. So from here guys, we're gonna do press ups. So if anyone wants to do the full press ups, go ahead. I'll just demonstrate the ones from the knees for those that want to do them from the knees. Again, it's like what we did earlier. We're gonna go wide with the hands, so a little bit wider than shoulder width. Okay, fingers facing forward, and you're literally going to lower the chest down from here, and then back up. Anyone else that wants to do the full ones, by all means do so. Lower and lift. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one more, and 1. Should have gone from the knees. <laughs> okay. Lower down, elbows under your shoulders. Okay, I want you to bring the leg closest to the screen or your left leg into the air. I want a 90 degree angle bend with the lower leg to the thigh. Okay. I want tension through the foot. So bring the toes down towards you. Hands are in a prayer like position facing forward. We're going to lift up towards the ceiling, flat foot. Bring the knee to down to meet the other knee and bring it back up for 10, 
nine, eight, breathing in on the way down, exhale as you lift, good, five, four, three, two, and one. From here, I'm gonna get you to pulse. So just moving a little bit up and down, not too much. Keeping that nice, strong line. Two, one. From here, I want you to push into the floor with your elbows, bring your knee in towards your chest, not touching the floor, and then bring it back up to where you were. Bring that knee in under your body as you round your spine and bring it back up for eight more. Good. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Slow and control. Three. Two. And one. Extend the leg nice and long. Point the toes, lower lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. You can come on out of it. Just watch for a moment though for, before you move on to the next one. For that exercise, guys, when you're lowering lifting, I don't want you to swing out of your back, okay? This should not be happening where you're arching your back. Your core stays strong. There's this movement coming from the hip, all right? Very little happening in my lower back, all right? Just for the next side when we do it. Onto your right, onto your right side. We're gonna stay with that same leg. So we're moving the top leg that when you were working, that should be on the top, okay? Lower your head down, okay? Knees are stacked and your feet are, behind, are right under your backside. Make sure your hips are facing forward, okay? That they're not rotated back or forward, okay, that they're both in line. We're gonna go for clams, so opening and lowering that top leg for 12, okay, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Elevate that leg in line with your hip, the top leg, toes towards you, we're going to lower and lift for 12, 11, good. And again, just bring it a little bit higher than hip height, keeping the leg in that same plane as the clams, not moving any part of the leg except just from the hip, and the whole leg moves together as a unit. Lower leg stays as it is, tension through the foot, four, three, two, and one, straighten that leg out, in line with your hip. We're gonna draw circles, so point the toes, draw circles forward for 10. Nine, again, strong through the core. Not too much shifting in the lower back. You're just drawing, imagine your leg is a big pen and you're drawing a nice circle on the wall at the base of your foot. Okay. And hold backwards for 10. Nine, eight. The smaller the circle, the more stabilization you have in the core. So the bigger you go, you're challenging yourself a bit more, but make sure you're able first. And hold and lower down. We're gonna go onto our other side. So onto your elbows first to begin, okay? And we're gonna start with on our hand, or on our elbows, hands and our fingers facing forward. Bring the knees in line with each other, make sure they're hip distance apart, okay? If you wanna tuck your toe on the other side, that's fine, or relax it down. Bring that leg towards the ceiling. And lower and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, good. Five, again, don't feed into that lower back. Stay strong in your abs, one more. Good, in line with your hip, pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, now we're gonna bring that knee in under, push into the mat with your elbows, round the back, and bring it back up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, good. Nearly there, guys. 
Bones of the steel. And one more. Good. Extend the leg, point the toes. Lower lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Come with me now. You're well able, guys. There's no giving up here. No feeling sorry for yourself. One more. Good. Coming down, please. And we're going to come onto our sides. Clam position. Rest the head down onto your upper arm. Make sure the hips are level. Ankles stuck together, opening and closing for 12. Good. 11. 10. Don't let that other hip come back. So keep your hand on that upper hip and just make sure that it's not moving backwards. Only go as far as that hip allows you to go. Four, three, two, and one. Elevate that whole leg, toes towards the tension through the foot, and lift and lower for 12. 11, well done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then we're going to extend the leg straight. If you want to bring the other leg in line, you can. And if we're going to point the toes, we're going to circle forward for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and back for 10. Control. Now your arse should be burning right now, but it's all good. You're doing really well. We're nearly finished, guys. We're well over halfway now. That's what I tell myself when I'm running. Halfway. Once you get halfway, you're... You're on the home stretch, okay? And hold and lower down. Well done. Can you smack your booty do onto your back? Okay. So roll down from here. Place your feet onto the floor. Knees are bent. Take a minute if you need to get yourself organized. Make sure there's nothing under your head, okay? All right. And um, just bring your knees or your feet a little bit away, a good bit away from your backside, so they should fall naturally under your knee position, okay? Don't bring them too close to your backside. So bring them slightly forward of your knees, okay? Hip distance apart. Make sure all your toes are down and engaged. Hands are down. We're gonna take an inhale as we roll our pelvis into imprint, and then bring your hips up towards the ceiling, okay? Make sure, just place your hands on your hips here, and just feel into your hips, and see where they are in place. And is one lower down. Just, if it is, push right into that leg and try to get it to level off at the other side. And we're gonna stay here and breathe into this position. Do a nice static contraction, squeezing the glutes, resting on the lower shoulder blades, lengthening the abdominal region, opening up the chest, and relax the hands down. No tension in the shoulders as much as you can. And what I want you to observe as well is where the knees are in place here. Are they opening up? If they are, bring them back in line with your hips. Visualize a little ball between your knees, squeezing on that ball. Visualize your heels drawing towards your back side, so you're activating your hamstrings. Take an inhale here, and on the exhale, lower your spine down. So you're rounding the spine, rounding the abdominal, sorry, and rolling the spine down one vertebrae at a time, slowly, slowly, slowly. And what I want you to do is lift the chest up, so you're arching that back. Make a good bit of space under that back, lift the ribs up towards the ceiling, get a nice stretch along the stomach, and then take an inhale, as you roll the spine back onto the mat, and then exhale to lift those hips up. We're gonna stay for an inhale, and then roll back down one vertebrae at a time, hands down by your sides. Feel which hip wants to lead down. Try not let it go down ahead of the other one. Try let the two hips come down together. Release that area again, so sticking those ribs up towards the ceiling, and then roll back one vertebrae at a time through imprint. Bring your hips up one vertebrae at a time again on the spine as you lift those hips up towards the ceiling. Again, resting just on the lower shoulder blades, not on the neck. We're going to inhale, staying up on bridge. Inhale, reach those hands to the back of the room or behind you. And then as you exhale, bring your spine down. Keep the arms there behind you. Roll down one vertebrae at a time. Round the stomach. Making a nice little C shape so you can get into that imprint. And then release your hips. 
Lift those ribs up, get a lovely stretch because your arms are back behind you. Bring those hands back down by your side. Take an inhale and exhale. We're gonna go for two more of these. Rolling the hips up towards the ceiling. Staying in the bridge position. Reach back. Inhaling, reach those fingers back nice and long. Staying up. And then exhaling, coming down. One vertebrae at a time. It's quite difficult because your spine is an extension because you're reaching those hands behind you. It's very kind of going against the grain. It's really, really good. Place the hands back down. Take an inhale here, exhale, roll through it and print again. Last one of these, okay? Well done, reach those arms behind you, getting a lovely stretch. Take an inhale and then exhale, lower down. Keep those hips together, stuck together, roll, roll, roll. Lovely stuff. And place the hands down, okay. From here I want you to place your left foot on your lower thigh, so just above the knee and open up that hip, okay? Now, I'm gonna challenge you here, okay? This is a really good hip opening exercise. From there, guys, take an inhale, and on the exhale, putting the weight into that opposite leg, the one that's on the floor, and pushing your hips up off the mat, okay? Really good hip opening exercise with the leg that's lifted, and a nice strengthening exercise for the leg that's on the floor, okay? Single leg bridge with a bit of a stretch. Staying here. And then slowly coming down again through imprint. Really control. If anyone's finding this too difficult, what I'll get you to do is to literally bring one leg to tabletop and drive up from here, okay? Or if you just want to do two-legged bridge, that's fine as well. Staying with this leg, guys, we're going to go for another uh, four more of these. We're going to lift up as you breathe in. And then slowly coming down, exhaling. releasing the pelvis as best you can. Inhaling as you lift up. If you find it hard, as I said, just come into tabletop with that other leg that's lifted, or just place both legs down. You can drive up with both feet and then release one leg at the top for a moment and then place both feet down again. And we've got two more of these. Good. And one more. Really trying to open up that hip without dropping it. Bring your knee into your chest, extending the opposite leg, and hug yourself. Well done, open the knee wider, so bring it out and pull it again in, in towards you. And then bring it across your body as if you're bringing your knee to your opposite shoulder, stretching out your bum. Placing that foot down. We're gonna go with the other side, so gently place that foot on the lower thigh and open up that hip, okay? Make sure the other leg is in the correct alignment, okay? And when you're ready, place your hands down to support yourself. Take an inhale here and on the exhale, slowly lifting as high as you feel most comfortable. Don't go too high though, please. <laughs> Just resting on. The first as you go is lower shoulder blades, reminding you. Open up that hip as best you can. Take an inhale and lower down one vertebrae at a time. My left side is my weakest side and I definitely feel a lot of weakness going on on that standing leg, okay? Lifting, really good though. And then lowering down. You can really see that the opposite leg is kind of, is moving a lot more than the other side. So, because it's in eye, I can see it, peripheral vision. Lifting. And lowering. We've got two more after this one. In your own time, guys, control, please be mindful of where the knee is going as you lift. Make sure it's going forward, not knocking in, and lowering down. One more, releasing the spine each time you come down, and then rolling through imprints each time you come up, lifting up, really firing up that glute to the standing leg, good. And try open up that hip as you come up into that position. And lowering down again. Bring that knee into your chest, please and lengthen that opposite leg. Bring your toes towards you of that straight leg and gently lock out the knee, opening up the hip. The knee that you have in your hand, brr, hands, bring it wider. So over to the right, if it's your right leg, go wider with that, to the right. And then slowly bring that knee to your opposite shoulder. Good. 
And when you're ready, come on up onto your elbows, please. Okay, fingers facing forward. I want good strength in the abs, so lengthen the abdominal regions. Don't let yourself sink, okay? Nice activation here. Nice, strong core. Place the hands down, elbows down strong. Okay, we're gonna extend that left leg, point in the toes, and we're gonna lower lift. As you lift, bring the toes towards you. Just go as far as you need, lower and lift. Okay, and your pelvis shouldn't tuck underneath you, so nothing changes. Again, only the movement comes from the hip, okay? Visualize you painting a wall, the point of the toes on the way down, toes towards you on the way up. Imagine it's a paintbrush. And we're going for two more. One more. Lovely, bend that knee, place it down. And extending the opposite leg, okay? Lower, toes towards you and lift. Lower and lift, good. And again, nice, and, nice bit of length going through the stomach. Activate the abs. Nearly there. Three, two, and one. Place it down. Slowly lower yourself down. Place the feet down, knees bent. You're gonna inhale as you reach the fingertips back. Exhale to come up and touch the outer part of your thighs towards the knees. Inhale as you reach back. Exhale to come up and reach. Squeeze the abs, good. Inhale to reaching back. Exhale. Good. Inhale, reach back. Nice long length of the arms. Exhale, coming up and reaching just as far as you can go towards the knees. And we're going for another six, five. As you extend back, guys, try not to arch the back. You want to keep the back nice and firmly in the neutral position. So don't lift the rib. Don't pop the ribs. Last one. Holding here, I'm going to get you to bring one leg to tabletop, supporting your leg as you lift it, and then bring the other leg to meet it, staying in your ab prep position, okay? From here, you're going to extend your right leg straight, and then swap over, bring that leg in, good. Extending, and bending. So you're bringing one leg in, extending the opposite. One leg in, extending the opposite. And holding that leg as you bring it in. Breathing in, and exhaling. Breathing in and exhaling for four breathe in and out three two and one coming down rest your neck rest your knees into your chest and roll side to side okay look from here guys i'm going to get you to bring your hands down on the mat bring yourselves into imprint position i hope you can see me because the sun is quite strong Tilting the pelvis, so locking that lower back down and no space under that lower back. Keep that back in connection with the mat at all times. Bring one leg to tabletop and then bring the other leg to meet it, okay? Hands behind the head, elbows are bent, coming up into ab prep position. From here, guys, you're gonna rotate your right armpit towards your left knee. Rolling back into center, but not resting your head down, keep the shoulders lifted, and then rotate the opposite armpit to opposite knee. And we're gonna go with that for another 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six. We've only got 10 minutes left, guys. And then that's including stretching, so stay with me. Three, two, and one. Staying up here in this ab prep position, guys, okay? We're going for toe taps. Lower the right toes down, bring them back up. Not dropping the head, please, unless you're really struggling. You can rest your head down and keep going with these toe taps, please. The rest of you, draw those abs down. Stay strong, keep rotating those feet. Good. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring the knees down to your chest. Hug yourself. Slowly, slowly. I want you to rock slightly forward and back. And then slowly coming up, holding the feet off the mat. Sitting up nice and tall. We're going for rolling like a ball. Anyone that's new to the class, please watch. Anyone that's not sure, please watch because it's a bit tricky. 
You're going to keep the feet elevated. You can rest your hands here or at the back of your knees. Okay? Take an inhale. Tuck the chin to your chest. Keep the chin down to your chest. You're going to round the abdominals, rolling down. Coming up, elevate the feet. The idea is the feet do not touch the floor. Okay? Rolling down. Don't hit your knees off your face either. <laughs> Tuck your chin to your chest. Roll down. And up. Using those abs to stabilize you as you lift. Rolling down. We're going for three more. And two. One more. Holding. Reaching the hands forward. Don't let the feet touch the floor. Reaching those hands forward. We're going to draw the elbows back. Bending the arms, opening the chest, bring the fingers back towards you and then reaching forward. Bend the elbows. Nice and long through the spine and bring them forward for four, three. Keep the feet up. Two, if you're struggling, you can place them down, but only if you're really struggling, don't feel sorry for yourself. One, reach those hands forward. We're lifting towards the ceiling as we reach forward. Six more, reaching up. Five. Breathing in as you reach, down as you exhale. Three, two, one more. And place the feet down, rounding over your body. Give yourself a moment, let the hip flexors settle. And then coming back to seated, sitting onto your sit bones nice and Tall, okay, so on the bony part of your backside. Place both feet firmly on the floor. And I want you to lengthen that spine. So think nice and tall. And open up the abdominal region, okay? So don't let the ribs get on you. Lift them up, okay? We're going to take an inhale here. And on the exhale, I want you to round the spine. So slightly slouching. And then extend back. Once you kind of get to that locking point where you feel the abs are firing, I want you to reach that left arm and follow it with your eyes. Go a little bit further into extension. We're gonna inhale, coming forward, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, round the spine, keep the toes down, and release the opposite hand. Looking at that hand, coming back, nice and tall. And exhale, reach, and back up to center. Sitting nice and tall, round the stomach as you unfold, one vertebra at a time, straighten that spine as you get to that locking point and release the hand, back up to centre. We're going for five more. Chin to chest as you peel back, lift the neck as you reach back with that hand, look at that hand coming forward and four. Don't rush it please. Two, three. <laughs> And last two. The last one. Back up. Nice and tall. Good stuff. Well done. From here, guys, I want you to cross your legs if you can. All right? Or if not, place the, a pillow under your backside if you need to. Okay? And sit down, okay? This lifts you up nice and tall and it allows you to cross your legs. If you need two pillows, that's fine as well. It takes that, it gives you that bit of length in your stomach so you're not, again, sink, sinking down. So if you need to grab a pillow really quickly, do so. Cross your legs. And what I want you to do is place your hands behind your head and open up the chest. So bring those elbows behind you. Nice and long through the spine. So nice and tall. Sitting up nice and tall. Sitting up out of your, your hips. So we're going to take an inhale here. And on the exhale, you're gonna just shimmy, rotate to the left side. Just rotating again from the belly button area and keeping the hips facing forward. Inhale back to center. And then exhale three times to the right. Inhale back to center, using those abdominals to rotate. Exhale. Inhale back to center and rotate. Don't pull on your neck, please. Your hands are literally just resting there. Rotate. Keep the hips facing forward. Rotate. And we're going for two more. One more. As you inhale, exhale to rotate. Back to center. 
just keeping your pillow under your backside if you need it or release it if you don't and extending one leg and reaching down towards your tippy toes if you can or to your knee whatever you feel most comfortable with and holding that stretch and slowly walk your hands back up and swap over please so open up that hip flexor again and then reaching down towards those toes so everyone forgets about this leg you don't really think it's doing anything but if it's up high it indicates that your hips and your adductors are quite tight so kind of focus in on pushing and opening up that area okay you can do both one hand on one and the other hand on the other perfect reach down holding keep that knee nice and straight the one's on the ground you should feel it in the back of your leg hamstring area and coming up nice and tall from here guys what i want you to do is place some of you aren't going to like this but i'm very sorry those that like to cramp in their feet they want you to sit onto your heels okay and place your hands either side now it's going to feel a bit weird but it's really it's an area that we don't really activate that much so we're going to activate the front of our shins okay the anterior tibialis muscle so placing your heels or your bum on your heels feet are nice and relaxed down hands either side of your knees what i want you to do is push down to the floor with the front of your feet and really activate the front of your shins and then release about 20 30 percent effort so pushing down again with the front of your feet into the floor 20 30 percent of your effort not 100 percent and then release we're going to go for another three and push down and release and another two this is great for people that might suffer with the uh, any kind of problems in the calf area Achilles area because they're overworked and the anterior the front of the shin is very underworked so it's important to strengthen this area also walkers will be okay do that walk a good bit runners not so much we're not so strong there and relax down now you tuck the toes and just sit back onto your heels and try to open up the soles of the feet sitting up nice and tall you dictate if you're really struggling place your hands down and just hold that position lift your bum off your heels if you're finding it really tough okay sitting back as much as you can i'm breathing through the pain <laughs> not nice and then finally releasing and then placing both knees onto the floor okay and make sure your knees are right under those hips all right place hands by your sides and just walk your right hand down your right leg actually before you do that tuck your pelvis squeeze the glutes and then walk the right hand down towards the floor once you get to your locking point release the other hand and arm and reach over your head and get a lovely stretch keep the hips forward don't let that hip rotate so if it's your left arm over your head don't let that left hip come forward resist this coming forward okay holding and remember keeping that pelvis forward breathing into it release that arm slowly coming up and then we're going to go to the other side again activate the glutes draw that pelvis forward and again slowly go down as far as you feel comfortable bringing that other arm with you reaching over reach 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 and back to center and when you're ready come to standing we'll finish then in a moment slowly come to standing okay and just shimmy the weight gently forward on your feet but not lifting the heels activating the toes down a little bit more and then bringing the weight back into your heels gently like ever so slightly bringing the toes off the floor not much and then slowly bringing the weight of your body forward into the front of your feet clawing down with the toes really activating them and then coming back onto the heels and just remember to activate the bone to stabilize you and then forward and back and when you're ready bend your knees take an inhale reach your hands towards the ceiling and coming up onto your toes as we did in the warm-up 
holding this position, take an inhale here, and then exhale, stay. Take another inhale, and then come down slowly onto your feet. One more inhale, reaching up towards the ceiling. And then we're gonna come down straight away, exhale. Just walk your hands, last one I promise, walk your hands down your shin. Stick your bum away. Walk them down as far as you can go. Bend your knees, obviously, sorry. Bend your knees as much as you can to get your chest down towards your thighs. Inhale as you lift your neck and your chest, open it up. And then exhale to round your spine, bring your head down towards your knees, looking in between your legs. Inhale as you lift your neck, open that space, lift your head, looking straight ahead, and then exhale, rounding that spine, bringing your eye line in between your knees, rounding that spine like the angry cat, and then last one, inhale, and exhale, rounding that back. Slowly, slowly, keep your hands where they are, and then lengthen the legs, and stay here for a moment, let the blood rush down to your head, Slowly, gently lock out the knees. And if you need to move your hands up your legs, that's fine. Staying here. Now I want you to walk your hands gently, slowly up the legs, stacking your spine one vertebrae at a time. Keep your neck down towards your chest. Your head will be the last thing to lift. Roll your shoulders back, open the chest, round the shoulders again. Rolling the shoulders back, and then you are finished. Well done, everybody. I will unmute you all. Well done. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, Kate. Thank you, Kate. Welcome. I know you can hear in my head, but that's probably not it. <laughs> a million. Hope you enjoyed it.